Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving Factor Fiction by Philip Newman. This is a factor line Sudoku. So we have standard Sudoku rules, replacing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. We also have some gray lines in the grid that are factor lines, and a factor line indicates that two digits that are next to each other along the gray line, like these two digits or these two digits, one of them has to be a factor or a multiple of the other. So for example, three can only be next to one of its factors or one of its multiples, so its factor would be one in this case, or its multiples would be six or nine. And it can't be next to a one because there's a one in row one already, so this has got to be a six or a nine. And if you look at the 2, 2 is not a factor or multiple of 9, but it is a factor of 6, so that's going to be a 6. And in fact, that's also going to be true here, because there's already a 1 in the region, we can't use 1. And the digit between 2 and 3, therefore, can only be 6. Now, if we look at some prime numbers, those can only ever go next to 1. So 7 is prime, so they're going to go... Or not all prime numbers, actually, but five or seven specifically, because they are too big to have multiples in the range of Sudoku digits. Two and three also prime, but they could go next to other digits. But anyways, five and seven can only go next to one. So that places a one in these cells by Sudoku, not there. And in fact, if we look at this three and four, there's not um, anything that can go in between them other than a 1, because 3 can only go next to 1, 6, or 9, and 4 is not a factor of 6 or 9, so that's going to be a 1. 7 has to go next to 1, so we're going to place a 1 right there. That gives us a 1 here by Sudoku and a 1 here by Sudoku. Okay, so these are from 5, 7, 8, and 9. They aren't 5 because there's a 5 in this region. These also can't be 7 because they would have to go next to a 1 on their factor line. And there's already a 1 spoken for in the region. So in fact, 7 can't go anywhere on this line either because it could only be next to 1. And because there's a 1 here, that can't work. So 7's got to go right there, making this 2, 3, and 6. Now 6 can't go with either 8 or 9, so it's not in either of those cells. So that's going to be our 6. Whatever this is has to be next to 2, so it is a 4 or an 8. Finish off column 2 by placing a 5 and a 7 right there. Now if we look at this row, these are from 2, 3, 8, and 9. That's not an 8. Now this can't be a 2 because 2 can't go next to either 3 or 9. So this is either a 3-9 pair or a 2-8 pair, and we're going to figure out the distinction between those shortly. Okay, this has to be either a 2 or a 4. Uh, we need a 2 in one of these cells and a 3 up here. This is a 5 by Sudoku, and these are from 4, 7, 8, 9. 7 has to go there. Uh, these guys are going to be from 4, 8, or 9. Uh, 5 and 7 can't be in this cell because they would have to go next to a 1 below them, so this has to be a 5, 7 pair. These guys are going to be an 8, 9 pair, and then these are going to be, or this cell is going to be from 4, 8, or 9, and because there's an 8 in the column, we can't put the 8 there. So 8 is in one of these cells, and this is not an 8. Now these are from 2, 7, 8, 9. 7 can't be in any of these because it can only go next to a 1, so that's our 7. 9 can't go here because 9 can't go next to 4, and 8 also can't go there. So that's going to be a 2, making that a 4, and making that an 8. Now that eliminates the 2, 8 possibility here. This is now a 3, 9 pair. So we can eliminate 3 and 9 from here, making that 8, and making this 2. So now this is going to be a 6 because it can't be a 7. And so 6 can't go next to 9, so 6 goes next to 3. That's now a 7. By Sudoku, this is now an 8, which makes this a 9, so we know this is the 3, 9, and this is the 2, 8. And 2 isn't going to go next to 9, so 9 in column 1 has to go right there. Now these are going to be 2 and 7 to finish the row. That makes this a 5 and a 7. This is also going to be an 8. We can eliminate 4 from those cells because there's a 4 in the row now. 
These are going to be three and nine. And that's a five. And up here we need um, three, five, and nine. So that's going to be our three by Sudoku. And this is going to be a nine to finish the column. Yeah, that's our five and our nine. This is now a four by Sudoku. We need a two, a six, and an eight to finish this area. These are going to be four and eight. Eight there, four there, two, six, and eight. To finish off this column, we need two, three, and nine, making this a naked nine. And to finish this row, we're going to need to place a five. 3 and 6, 2 and 4, 3 and uh, 2. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Fact or Fiction. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. The link to solve it yourself is in the description of this video. And I'll see you again in a few days.